Hi all, welcome back. In this video, let, let us try to understand how to perform certain transformations or the data cleansing process in Power BI before proceeding with any kind of uh, uh, reporting or visualizations. Okay. So for this purpose, I have a sample data set, the sales data set. So here, if you see, um, I could see here there are some blank lines which are available between the data and the data uh, is not filled properly for this country column and uh, the serial number invoice number these headers are not aligned properly so when the data is incorrect or uh, it has some mistakes like this in your data set then after uploading into your power bi this will not give accurate results so we wanted to clean these kinds of mistakes or the errors right so let us see how to perform these kind of transformations in power bi so in order to import this data set just click on the Excel workbook. You can either do it by clicking on get data and then selecting Excel workbook or directly you can click on the Excel workbook and you need to choose your corresponding data set. So you can see here the data set is loaded. Just click on that and you will be able to preview a sample of it. Okay. So if you could see the preview here, it is clear like the first row is considered as the header but there are some null rows in between and the serial number and invoice number is not aligned properly and there are certain null rows between the data as well okay so there are two different ways in order to transform your data okay so the first one is to click on the transform data here okay so let us try to click on the transform data so on clicking on the transform data, we are directed to the Power Query Editor. This Power Query Editor can also be opened by clicking the transform data in this in this ribbon. Okay, so both points to the same same Power Query Editor. So if you could see, this is actually the Power Query Editor window, and this is the actual data which we have loaded from the Excel sheet. So here the first row is considered as a header. Suppose if suppose the first row is not considered as the header, then you need to click on this particular small arrow here and then you can just give use first row as header. Okay. So since the first row is already a header, I am not I am not making use of this option. Okay. So I'm uh, next thing I have to do is I want to remove the top rows which are blank. As well as I want to remove this row as well because it doesn't make any sense to include the serial number and the invoice number in the row 2. Okay. So in order to remove these blank rows, click on this small drop down and click on remove top rows. Okay. So there are various other options like keep top rows, bottom rows, range of rows, keep duplicates or keep errors. And then there are something for removal as well and then remove errors and things okay so here we will try to remove the top rows alone i am clicking on remove top rows and it asks me how many rows to be removed so here i just want to remove only two rows so i am giving a number of two and i am clicking on okay so the first two rows will be deleted So whatever steps or whatever transformations which you are doing it here to the data, everything will be listed here in the applied steps. Okay. If, when you see here, the first two rows are removed. This column one doesn't make any sense to me. It is just a serial number. I have column two, which is pointing to the invoice code. Okay. If you see here, it is invoice number. So I want to remove this column. So how to remove this column? If you see this, um, so here you can see there is an option to remove columns. Okay. Either you can remove one single column or you can select the columns which are required and then you can click on remove the other columns. Okay. So it will remove all the other columns. But in my case, if you see here, uh, only this column is not required and I want all other columns. So I'm just clicking on this column one and I'm clicking on remove columns. Next, the column two does not have any header. So in order to rename it, just click on the column two and select rename. 
you can rename it to what is that invoice number okay so the column 2 is remain renamed for all the, all the transformations will be pointed out here as i told earlier okay so next thing i have to do is then i want to fill this country column with values which are null with the actual data okay so even we saw in the previous video on how to fill this data so what are we supposed to do we just need to go to transform and then click on fill and it should point to down okay so if you see here all those null values are replaced with the actual value so now the data looks clean i have the invoice number stock code description quantity and then uh, invoice date unit price customer id and country in order to apply these transformations to the data set you need to click on close and apply so here the data is loaded and you can see the data set here you can also visualize the data set by clicking on this um, data okay the other way to transform the data is first you can load the data set into your power bi and then click on the transform data and uh, this will again take you to the power query editor okay so let us try to understand the various other features under the power query editor in the upcoming videos Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.